And now some updates from Harris's campaign on her stance on health care. According to her webpage, she plans to build on her work as California Attorney General, taking on insurance companies and big pharma to lower prices. And she plans to strengthen Obamacare and expand on President Biden's efforts to lower prescription drug prices for Medicare recipients. For an in-depth discussion on the specifics of this and how it could play out, I spoke to Hadley Heath Manning. She's the executive vice president of the Steamboat Institute. It was with great anticipation, finally, Kamala Harris posted her policy platform as a presidential candidate, and part of that was her health care program. One of the questions I think that uh, people were having about her positioning is, would she support a Medicare for All program, as she supported as a U.S. senator? She sponsored legislation to that end. Would she support an even harsher form of Medicare for All, which would abolish private insurance, based on one interaction she had in a 2019 debate when she ran for president at that time, or would she soften and moderate on this issue? And ultimately, that's where she has ended up. She is uh, now saying that she will try her best to support the existing health care system, which is, of course, um, based on a 2010 law, Obamacare, or the Affordable Care Act. So in the lead up to this, Senator Tom Cotton did an interview in which he took issue with Harris's stance of eliminating private health insurance. But the interviewer said that she no longer supports that. But Cotton pushed back and saying, how do you know that's not her real goal? Can you elaborate a little bit more on just what her outline in text actually could translate into? Sure. Well, one of the key things she says in her website platform, which we understand to be a very bare bones bullet point type of, of document. She says health care is a right. It's something that she wants to ensure that every American has. And of course, as a lawmaker, the implication would be there's some kind of government guarantee of health care or health insurance. So I expected Harris to come out somewhere, maybe in favor of a public option or a Medicare for all that would allow the coexistence of private insurance, at least in name only, to avoid some of these criticisms that she's rightfully facing from her political opposition about abolishing private health insurance. However, there was no mention of a public option. I think Harris is trying to moderate at this point and show some flexibility. Not all flexibility is bad. Of course, when you're the president, you may not set policy. You may have to sign whatever bill ends up at your desk, of course, when it comes to something as broad as health care reform. However, I think based on Harris's actions, in the past, we can guess that if the Overton window were to shift, if Medicare for all were to become a political possibility, she would still support um, such a left-leaning option. And Hadley, how would Harris's proposals impact the average American looking to get health insurance? Right. Well, right now, what we have seen over the course of time since the 2010 law, which was named the Affordable Care Act, is that health care continues to get less and less affordable for most Americans because of the high premium that we pay and also some of the high deductibles that we've continued to see going up, up, up. So unfortunately, the Affordable Care Act hasn't achieved one of its key goals, which was to lower the cost of health care in the United States. Doubling down on this approach, as Harris now says, is her platform, is the, the plank of, of health care policy in her platform, is, I'm afraid, unfortunately, not going to get to the root of those health care costs. So Hadley, we both know that the presidential candidates are in sales mode right now, the elections in just under two months. Is there a way to ask for more specifics? Would that be necessary in terms of pinning down this exact policy proposal? I think so. I think in an interview with Harris, members of the media or her political opposition in a debate setting should ask Harris specifically if Congress were to put a bill on her desk that advanced, for example, a public option for health insurance or an expansion of Medicaid or an expansion of Medicare through lowering the eligibility um, age for Medicare, would she agree to those changes? To what degree does she believe that the government should expand eligibility for those programs? Because that's also a backdoor way to get Medicare for all. And ultimately, I believe she needs to answer the question once again, how does she feel about any government rule at the state or federal level that would abolish private health insurance? Because that's something where it's, it's not been very clear in the past where she stood on that issue. So I think she needs to finally speak with clarity now. Well, it was great hearing your analysis this morning. Hadley Heath Manning, Executive Vice President of the Steamboat Institute. Thank you. Thank you.